Thank you very much to the Hard Rocker cheerleaders. Now the rush came up on the short end Wednesday night, falling to Savannah 6-2. That's right, Andrew. Tonight, Rapid City got another crack at the Ghost Pirates on Coda KEVN Weather Night. How about that? Our own David Stradling dropped the opening puck. Look at that handsome devil out there. In the first period, Rapid City's Alex Aliardi delivers a pass to James Hardy. He fires the shot. Michael Bouya makes the save. And then we have some friendly pushing and shoving there behind the net. 1-0 Ghost Pirates with the lead. Logan Drevich moves in, fires the puck past Jason Palowski for the goal. That's his 16th tally of the season. Some nice passing from Savannah. Brent Peterson fires the one-timer. This time Jason Palowski is there to shut him down. The Rush scored two third period goals, but it's the Ghost Pirates who get the win tonight, 4-2. to two. Now let's send things back to Andrew. Thanks, Vic. And Sioux Falls tonight, the O'Gorman girls at 21-0 hosted Sioux Falls. Roosevelt, the winner, will face Stevens in next week's state tournament. Lucy Moore on the steal in transition finds Sydney Tervine, who runs to the corner for an open three. The sophomore knocking it down. It's good. Later inside, it's a wing, a coy for the easy layup. A nice pass from her teammate for two. The Rough Riders call a timeout to end the momentum. The O'Gorman faithful on their feet. Then a coy. Kicks out to Lucy Moore on the near side, smooth as butter. The Knights advance 65 to 31 over Roosevelt. Now over to Vic, who has some more scores for us. Thank you, Andrew. Also in the AA girls, Sodak 16 tonight. It's Hello Windcolumn. The Spearfish girls are headed to state as they knocked off Aberdeen Central in impressive fashion, 72 to 48. So the Spearfish girls join Stevens at next week's AA state girls basketball tournaments. Hot Springs boys defeated Custer 60 to 49. So Hot Springs advances to next week's Class A at Sodak 16. That'll be next Tuesday. In Region 7A, the Pine Ridge boys defeated Red Cloud tonight in that rivalry matchup 83 at 55 Lakota Tech advances to the Sodak 16 with a 60 to 48 victory over winner bit of a surprise there winner was the two seed Lakota Tech the three in region 7b boys Sodak 16 qualifiers White River knocked off Jones County no surprise there 64 47 bit of a surprise Philip moves on to the Sodak 16 with a 64 53 victory over wall Philip the third seed wall seated second in that one in region 7b boys Boys. Faith defeated Harding County 68 to 42. Top seed of Longhorns move on to the Sodak 16 in Class B. And also a bit of a surprise, third seeded Timber Lake wins a nail biter over second seeded Lemon 54 53. So the Panthers move on to next week's Class B Sodak 16. All those Sodak 16 boys games on Tuesday. Andrew has a couple more scores for us. Yeah, and Spearfish Night, College Hoops, the Black Hill State men and women. Beat Colorado Christian. The men won 65 to 56, and the women sneaking past 73 to 68. Good night for the area college basketball teams. They won a combined three and one, and the Armac basketball tournament starts next Tuesday. So keep an eye on that. Should be fun for that. I have some more scores here for you. Speaking of Armac college softball, Black Hill State softball team played their home opener today. The Yellow Jackets dropped game one to CSU Pueblo seven to three. Black Hill State bounced back to beat Pueblo eleven to three on the ice. The Badlands Sabers lost to Gillette seven to two, and we had the high school girls. Girls State Hockey Tournament today going in Watertown. Rushmore Thunder Girls dropped their first game to Mitchell 5-2. They'll look to bounce back in consolation action tomorrow. What else you have coming up for the folks tomorrow, Andrew? Yeah, Black Hill State was taking on Colorado Christian. Christian will be here in Rapid City to take on Mines at 4-6. And, and the Rush try to snap a home losing streak against Savannah tomorrow at 7:05. All right, next Tuesday is A and B boys, Sodak 16 games. Girls' State basketball tournaments start here in Rapid City for Class B on Thursday. We'll have Harding County in Wall and that. Well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Friday Night Frenzy. Have a great weekend, everybody.